we're going to be starting a, a bit of a series. Uh, I, I guess that's really what it is. And it's going down the Edify rabbit hole. Now, there's not that many episodes on this channel yet, but this channel seems to be basically pushing itself as the Catholic Prager U. And I haven't seen many people talk about it outside of the episode I did uh, with the Random Ass Turf. So, we're going to go ahead and talk about their first episode called Edify the Beginning. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get into the fan art section. So, this piece was done by SiriCal. I saw Call for an Uprising call you a lumberjack, so I made a base sketch of Lumberjack Cirrus. I might actually my hand, try my hand at 3D modeling to actually make this real. So, I love that, like, the hatred that gets thrown my way from Call for an Uprising ultimately gets turned into fucking memes and fan art. It is absolutely wonderful. Woo! And with that said, let's go ahead and get into the video itself after I let you guys know that, hey, if you want your fan art to be shown in a future episode, the best way to do so is drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, let's roll the intro. <laughs> And with that, edify the beginning. Yes, America, you are beautiful indeed. Okay. Your greatest beauty and your richest blessing is found in the human person. Don't okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and say right now, this imagery automatically makes me think of pro-life people. The ultimate test of your greatness is the way you treat every human being, but especially the weakest and most defenseless ones. Ah, uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's 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 pro-life propaganda. Yeah, yeah, it's pro-life propaganda. There we are. Glad to know we're already here. The frickin' okay, so this is kind of normal thing you get with propaganda where like they uh, they show something that you're supposed to have a lot of reverence for. So like for this, an old pope uh, with some very very emotional music in the background, and with that emotional music going on in the background, you have perfectly timed pope, and then the pope is here. So. With the imagery of the the baby just kind of like the baby constantly uh, in the background there, it makes me go, oh, yeah, no, I know what we're in for. <laughs> no matter what your message is, I know what that part is. So let's go. Let's continue. St. John Paul II had it right. Catholic social teaching also has it right. And now in America, far too often, we're getting it wrong. Okay, so... I know this is propaganda, so qualifying your statement isn't really a thing that you you need to do usually. But I'm just going to say, when you say Catholic teaching has it right, my brain goes to has it right about what? Can you clarify that, please? Our young people are learning false notions about the United States and the Catholic Church. Instead of looking at both as two of the greatest forces for good that have ever existed. Do, do you want to know why we don't? Because you have pedophile priests who literally get shuffled to other countries so that they can touch other children that just happen to be in lower income areas. No. I'm sorry. I do not view the Catholic Church as one of the greatest forces for good in the world. Maybe one of the greatest producer of pedophiles, but... Kids are being taught that America is foundationally a racist country and that the Foundationally? Yes, we were In fact, in a lot of ways, we still kind of are uh, But those are things that are being worked on every day But yeah, no, foundationally, if you look at how America was even conceived A lot of the reason why we fought to you know, get our independence was not just because of taxation without representation, it was also because we wanted to maintain our slaves. Like, we wanted to keep that going on. So, uh, yeah, there there certainly is a racial component there. <sighs> but, you know, let's, let's, let's ignore the fact that we literally slaughtered indigenous people and enslaved brown people. Let's just ignore, it will ignore that, it's fine. The church is full of self-righteous bigots. 
Well, it certainly is that. So here's the thing. You can say that there are people who are in church that are not self-righteous bigots, and that's fine. You can say that there are a lot of people in church who are good people, and that's fine. Uh, but to say that the Catholic Church, as an institution, is not filled with self-righteous bigots is patently false. Is there a way to undo this intellectual vandalism? Yes, there is. It's called Edify, an entirely new way to share the truths of the Catholic faith and the foundational values of America. Edify works because it's simple. The best teacher sharing the best ideas. Five focused minutes or less. This is just Prager U. This is all just Prager U. Like, this? This is the exact format that Prager U uses for all of their videos to make sure that their videos can be easily consumed and remembered and rewatched and sent to people ad nauseum. And fresh animation to engage and to improve recall. Each week, Edify offers a new lesson and employs innovative marketing to maximize social media reach and readership. Yeah, that is, uh, again, that is just PragerU. Think Prager University for Catholics. Oh my fucking god! Wait, what? I didn't even know they were gonna... I didn't know they were gonna do it! I didn't know they were gonna come out and say it! Oh god! <laughs> it's, it is discount PragerU! They even admit it's discount PragerU! What's a Catholic to think about critical race theory, socialized medicine, gun control, climate change, the minimum wage, and transgender rights? <laughs> we are in for a huge, we are in for a huge truck full of problems. Oh dear, this is going to be an, this is going to be an enjoyable dismantling. Oh, I, 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 if those are the things they're going to talk about primarily, we are going to have a lot of stuff to cover today, boys. How can Catholics best persuade others on issues such as abortion, marriage, and religious freedom? Pope Francis says that we have to meet people where they are. Today, so many young people are engaging big ideas in the context of politics. This presents us a great opportunity. The Catholic Church has always been heavily in politics. This is not an opportunity thing. This is just how it fucking works. But can I also just say that feeding people your religious ideas through the lens of politics is absolutely fucking disgusting. This is the reason why you have so many people who view leftists as all atheists and who view conservatives as all Christian, despite the fact that there are conservative atheists who've tried to get spots on my channel and been like, did you know you could be a conservative and an atheist? Yes, I know you can be an idiot once and also neutral on the other end. That's fine. I get it. <laughs> but yeah, no, the, the, the reason that those are so intertwined now is because religion and politics have fucking married each other and had thousands of bastard children. And I have to talk about all of them on this channel, apparently. And that's literally the reason that my channel moved from just talking about religion and philosophy to, and debunking to talking about politics as much as I do, because y'all can't get out of bed with each other. Students will learn the truths of the faith and the time-tested principles that built America and have led to historic economic, social, and cultural flourishing, uh -huh. which are now at risk. Students will explore the best ways to present and debate these truths. And when they do, they'll cause good trouble all over the country. Also, Wolfie, trans rights are human rights. That, that, trans people are human. Trans rights are part of human rights. Human rights are an umbrella. Trans rights are part of that umbrella. Feck off. Challenging ideas, policies, and opinions that are destroying our country and the church. So I like how when he talked about... So they're going to talk about things that are destroying America and the church. Transgender rights are apparently destroying the church. Critical race theory is apparently destroying the church. All these things that actually don't affect the church at all, I guess, are controlling the church. 
for the Catholic Church and for the United States to thrive, it'll take good people now to win the war of ideas. In his providence, God has placed each of us here in this moment. Just as we are inspired by the stories of the Founding Fathers and of the martyrs and the saints throughout the church's history. Fuck. Her. No, no, seriously. Fuck that bitch. Mother Teresa is a monster in human flesh. abso fucking lutely not. This woman denied critical medical care to several patients because they needed to suffer for God. No. Fuck. Her. May future generations be inspired by the brave and generous way that people of our time responded to these threats. Ah, yes. How the Catholic Church responds to the threats of the transgenders. Okay, sure thing, buddy. Please join us in this renewal of our church and our country by supporting Edify. Coming September 21st. Edify, powered by truth. <laughs> okay. So obviously, we've got a rabbit hole to go down, and that is the beginning. We did not begin with the beginning, as we uh, had a sampling of their turfy nonsense in a different video, but this is the beginning for their channel. And if they've only been here since September and they've already got a thousand subscribers, that's some pretty startling trajectory. So let's go ahead and we're going to continue in later episodes going over more of the Edify shit. It's like PragerU, you know. Everybody loves Prager you. And I hate myself. Anyways, if you enjoyed this and you are excited for us going over more of this garbage, then let me know in the comment section below. If you want to support the channel and what I do, uh, be like Gruntled Seraph. Hit the follow button. Thank you very much for that, by the way. Follow over on Twitch, subscribe over on YouTube, and if you want to support the channel and what I do, there's plenty of ways to do so linked in the description. With all that said, though, Insert end of video tagline here. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. It really means a lot to me. If you want access to behind the scenes content for the channel, please consider checking out my Patreon. I do weekly vlogs over there where I give uh, real life updates to what's going on behind the scenes on the channel, stuff that you don't really get uh, over here and, and even on Twitch. Uh, Patreon also helps the channel's stability a whole lot. Without Patreon, I wouldn't be able to do this at all. Especially with the kind of content that I do, neither YouTube nor Twitch are the most stable sources of income. If you are a $20 and up patron, then you will be featured on the ending slides as shown in the beginning of the end credits. If you want to catch the streams where all this content comes from, then consider heading over to Twitch and following. And if you want to continue watching over here on YouTube, maybe consider clicking one of the end screen videos. And once again, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me over on my channel. I wouldn't be able to do literally anything that I'm doing over here on YouTube without each and every one of you. So thank you.